Throughout history, coastlines around the world have been vulnerable to huge, destructive, ocean-crossing waves, tsunamis. Even with the monitoring systems introduced in the 20th century, tsunamis often strike with little or no warning. Over the millennia, they have killed hundreds of thousands of people, from ancient Greece, pre-conquest North America and feudal Japan, to Alaska, India and Sri Lanka in modern times. They originate from volcanic eruptions, earthquakes, large landslides and even meteor impacts in the ocean. The energy released is comparable to picking up all the land, buildings and people in New York City and dropping them into the sea. A tsunami is not a single wave, but instead a series of extremely long waves spanning upwards of 200 kilometers in distance. Tsunamis can move up to 800 kilometers per hour, as fast as a passenger jet. Even after traveling thousands of kilometers, when it reaches shallow water, a tsunami can grow to 25 or 30 meters in height. A tsunami can also be deceptive. If the trough of the initial wave is first to arrive, water might retreat from shore like an unusual low tide. People who explore the newly exposed seafloor are then vulnerable as the massive crest arrives. And if the shore is flat enough, the wave keeps going inland, devastating cities and villages in mere moments. A worldwide tsunami detection system could not prevent every death from these waves. But, after such an event, and with a proper warning system, people across the seas might have several hours to react and escape with their lives.